in this section now, where I'm going to assume that you've been working through some lab. It might be a lab in a workbook. It might be some lab that you devised yourself and you were not able to complete it. Your time is about to run out. And so you need to save your configuration so you can come back and work on that lab again later at some point in time. So how do we save our configs for another day? Well, certainly one of the ways you have available to you is, you know, when you're logged into router one or switch two, you could just issue a show run command and copy and paste that into a text file and save it locally on your laptop or your PC. I would actually recommend doing that. Here, I'm going to show you how to use our system for saving your config, but I'll tell you, I can't imagine a worse scenario. I don't think this has ever happened. Hopefully it will never happen, but you know, I can imagine it would feel absolutely horrible if I spent like two or three hours working on some big monster lab with all these topologies and technologies working with each other. I didn't finish it. I saved it using our system. And what if the system crashed and it lost your configs? Oh my gosh, now you got to go back and start all the way from scratch again, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. That will help with your memorization of the commands, right? But nobody likes to restart from scratch. So, I always think it's a great idea to save your configurations locally on your own laptop using like Notepad or WordPad or something just as text files, just so you've got it. Because then if the system crashes or something, you can just wipe out all your devices, bring them back to a factory default, and then just copy and paste your configs back in. So I would still recommend doing that. But here's how you do it using our system. So within the control panel, you'll see here there is a save current config option. And I'm going to go ahead and click on that. So let's go back to rack rentals here. I'll go into the one that I'm in right now, control panel. Okay, so I'm just going to click on save current config. And now you can see here, it's going to give a, a cryptic name to it. You probably want to give it some more descriptive name. I'll, I'll leave the date and the timestamp on there. That's kind of useful. But I might just say test config OSPF. You know, I, I don't know what's on here or not, but I'll just do that. And I'll click save. And now what's doing in the background, it's logging into each device. So if, if I was currently telneted into these devices, it would kick me out. So it's basically killing any existing telnet sessions, logging into each device, and just issuing the show run command and compiling all those into this file here. Now this will take a couple of minutes, uh, but that's exactly what's happening. And then, so that is how you save it. And then once you save it, when you click over here under select configuration, that save config will show up under here under user configs. Okay, so you can see right now, it's about 57% of the way through. So once it's done, I should have a user config here named test OSPF configuration. It's almost done. Okay, so now it's done. So under user configs, it isn't showing up yet. It might take a minute or two to show up in here. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get out of the control panel, go to rack rentals. I'm going to log back into that session, that control panel. And there we see it. Now it's under user configs. So at this point, now what I would probably want to do, so I would probably want to do this six or seven minutes before my session expires. And then once that's done, I would click on that one, select it, and then click on download config. You remember what that does? That downloads it as a zip file of all of your text files of your, of your devices. So instead of going in individually and typing show run, putting it a text file, show run, putting it a text file, you can just do this process. Save current config, give it some descriptive name, wait a couple of minutes, log out of rack rentals, 
log back into your control panel. You'll find it here under user configs. And then you can just click on the download config option and that will download it locally to your laptop as a zip file. And now you've got a saved, secured way of saving your configurations. And that's what this next section is talking about, about downloading your saved configs as zip files. Okay. Something else that you can do from this is, let's say you're working from a workbook. For example, the CCMP route workbook. Well, these workbooks have uh, pre-configurations they start with. So I could just select one of these pre-configurations like this, CCMP route workbook OSPF1 configs, and I could click on download config and that'll download a zip file of that configuration. Okay. So that is how you save your current config so you can come back and then you can download those saved configs later on. In the next video, I'm going to talk about how do I load configurations onto my device. So I'm just starting my session. My session has just started up. How do I load my save config? Or if I'm working from a workbook, how do I load one of the workbook configs onto my box? And we'll see that in the next section.